Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia and Spain. Here we are one week into having received rain and suddenly our lives are very, very different. We have to change hats, we have to change minds, we have to change tools and planning. We have to change our habits inside and outside the house. Just amazing what one week of rain can do to our lives. And uh, it's not easy because the nature of the human being is to get into a pattern and then follow that for survival and suddenly there's a new pattern and uh, we have to get used to it. I will have to think about pruning these old oak trees. I have to think of sowing some perhaps some clover. I have to think about planting some trees. I already planted about 50 indigenous trees the last few days. And uh, everything is new and fresh and green. Amazing. I still struggle to grasp that in one week's time it can become so green. Just get used to it. Enjoy it. I uh, have also taken some time out. The family that visited us is safely back home. So uh, things now have settled down. And here we are back to the issue. This is a distribution pond and as a community member rightly said, all my focus was on getting the water as high as possible so that I can distribute it. And I didn't pay enough attention to small important things. But now it's time to pay attention to that. I have removed this plank support that kept the dirt uh, up. So what is the next step? It is interesting that this erosion took place exactly in line with this culvert and then here in this gabion there was there were no stones because it was made like this so that the water could flow through this under the previous dispensation of erosion control I only filled it up with soil and that got washed away. Now I have the tools. I will remove this top part here, fill it with stones and concrete and then start building a concrete stone uh, structure into that area and uh, that will give me the confidence that it will last at least it has a support here at the back this will not move and uh, if all of that is in concrete and stone 
I'm sure that will not move as well. So I'll open there, I'll open here, open here, and I will start from this side, uh, allowing this to dry and then carry on and carry on, building that way. I think that will do the job. And then on the other side, I will fill all of this with stones and also some concrete and then uh, repeat this process the mesh the stones and on top of that some soil another bone of contention is um, those two blocks structures I have built obviously it accelerates the water into one specific point and what do I do with that let me see if I can get down there from the culvert there has been no further erosion or moving of the rocks even here not much and even here not much so it looks like the current created on top of the surface of the water that is what erodes this wall here but this will become permanent and I don't think we will repeat the same issue. I started to plant some vetiver there on the opposite side. Many more will follow. Then this um, old structures still working well. The water this year is a very different color. Last year it was orange. And this year it's much clearer. I don't know why. I have deepened this spillway this side. I would like the water to come this way. So when that dam wall broke, all the water came down here and there's actually no sign of any erosion the plants the vetiver the branches kept it very well i also have to say that there is an under earth stream because i have placed a lot of logs in here there and then filled it with earth on top so there's also water flowing underneath but anyway i'm very happy it handled all the flow without any sign of erosion and that gave me lots lots of encouragement this first earthen dam wall i built is still standing it uh, is catching a lot of earth coming here sediment lots of vetiver and cane i did plant some esparto but uh, none of that grew that's more or less the uh, andalusian vetiver equivalent well done i'm happy that this worked and now just higher up this is the first swell system this is the second swell system i'm busy with a third swell system previously the water came down here now i blocked it and it will also come from the distribution pond 
into this area and then it will run that way and the new swale system will start there that is the third one and there are one two more so there will be five systems soon I'm delighted to say I did not lose much rainwater overland. The water I did lose was from the creek, but I have no wish to stop it, to dam it up. I just wish to manage it and uh, it can flow. That is good as well. Over there the first swell system, the lowest, the second, the third will just be above this tree. I don't want to come too close to it. I am quite aware that these trees start off their lives with a uh, taproot, but soon it sacrifice that taproot for side roots and uh, it's quite shallow about 18 centimeters so i don't want to damage that at all it will run through here and then i have this one and that one so most of the running water rain water that was it was collected in this well system and we are delighted. No rain forecasted for the next perhaps 10 days. Gives me enough time to repair the distribution pond. I'm making lots of, I'm tweaking a lot of these systems here. I would like them to fill much higher. In the past I was not so confident that they will last because a lot of water came through that uh, system and uh, now I have seen what is happening so tweaking will continue beautiful day happy for everything that's happening till next time Goodbye.